going to be predicated on the combine and how you play here, you think? Uh, yeah, a lot of things. A lot of things uh, go into it. What are some of the factors that you are considering in terms of that decision? What are the factors? Yeah. Uh, just uh, uh, feedback I get from coaches, GMs. Uh, I thought everything, all of my meetings, all my interviews went well. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, no, uh, I thought everything went smooth for the most part, yeah. With your size and the guard skills, what's the, the biggest thing that you hope to take into that will give you an advantage in the league? Uh, just I can shoot over guys. Uh, uh, I can shoot the three. I, I can go by guys, smaller and bigger. Uh, get in the lane, play, make, kick, uh, facilitate. Was that your biggest jump from uh, the past year is your three-point shooting? For sure. Able, being able to explain that. Yeah, I changed my mechanics a little bit and just uh, excel. What would you do with that in terms of mechanics? What was the, the change? Uh, footwork, uh, just not dropping the ball too low. Did anybody ever like that in the game after? Uh, a lot of guys, like Trevor Reza, Paul George, uh, Kawhi Leonard, how he gets after it uh, on both ends. What about Trevor Reza, just the size? Benefit? Just the size, he's a slasher and plays it really hard defensively. Smart too. What are some of the questions that coaches and teams are, are asking you during these interviews? Uh, a lot of questions, just like how hard do I play? Uh, maybe sometimes they ask me to write up a play. Uh, if I have like five seconds left, what am I doing? A lot of uh, intellectual questions, a question about basketball, a question about my background, my family. Is there something that you're trying to get across to these coaches in these meetings that you, that you want them to know about? Uh, that I'm a competitor, I play hard and I play to win. What's been the strangest part of the interview process for you so far? Uh, the strangest part, uh, I didn't get too too many outrageous questions. I thought most of them were made sense and, and they're important. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe no, I have not. Uh, I I'm not sure that. I, yeah, I met with so many teams at this point. Is this kind of like uh, overwhelming in some ways to think that you're finally here? I'm probably sure it's been like a lifelong dream of yours to make it to this point. For sure, it's overwhelming. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say overwhelming, but uh, it's a lifelong experience that I always wanted to be here. So uh, every, I've been taking it in stride and just enjoying every moment of it. Tell us about your journey. How did you wind up at Stanford? How did I wind up at Stanford? Uh, uh, my background, my family, uh, they take education. It's really important in my family. Uh, and then I always want to play with the best, the high level, stay in the West Coast. So the best of both worlds. Uh, is, Pat. Is, it, is, it, is it true that your, your parents didn't want to let you play basketball when, when you were young because it was too physical a game? No, no, I, I was with football. I was oh, with football, yeah. Okay.